but this right here is topic number three coming from the direct.com marvel reportedly eyeing ryan gosling for mcu villain mm. and again this is a rumor and if you're watching this via live on the replay there's a link down to this in the mcu in the mcu in the description for you to read at your own leisure thanks to a new rumor regarding marvel studios upcoming phase five slate it appears ryan gosling may be on his way to lead a role with mcu since becoming the talk of Hollywood in 2015 with La La Land and all of that. He teamed up with the Russo brothers for their efforts with the Gray Man, which starred the MCU icon Chris Evans, leading to the wonder if he'll ever get his own shot in the expanse of MCU. Gosling has actually spoke on the idea of taking on a Marvel role, noting how cool it would be to take on any kind of part in the ever-expanding multiverse saga. Well, thanks to a new rumor, there may be a movie in which fans could see Gosling make his long-awaited MCU debut in the Thunderbolts. Ryan Gosling in mind for a villain role? Noted scooper Daniel Rickman shared on his Patreon account that Marvel Studios is iron Ryan Gosling to play a major villain in the MCU. The role calls for a lead male between the ages of 30 and 50, describing him as a conflicted and powerful villain and comparing him to an evil Superman. The rumor points to Marvel being interested in Gosling or Alexander Skarsgård to play the role in 2024's Thunderbolts. All signs point to the character being the most powerful Marvel entity, Sentry. Who is this evil Superman, Superman villain? Should Gosling actually take on the role of Sentry in the MCU, he'd be embodying one of the most powerful characters the comics has to offer, one that ties back to the Super Soldier Serum as well. Sentry, a.k.a. Robert Reynolds, was injected with the serum that gave him super uh, superpowers when he was a high school teenager, but was designed to be immensely more powerful than the concoction that turned Steve Rogers into Captain America. After taking the serum, Reynolds was imbued with what's described as the power of a million exploding suns. Damn it. Leaving a trail of discretion behind him wherever he goes. Should he be the primary villain in Thunderbolts, this team were, of reformed villains and anti-heroes would be their hands full with arguably one of the most powerful villains in the MCU history. Most of the Thunderbolts both street level abilities outside the heavy hitters like Ghost. So going up against a villain this powerful would be something that brings a new level of excitement, excuse me, to the MCU. Elliot, Elliot, Elliot. I know yeah. you're a fan of Superman. Oh, yeah. I, I, I know you're a fan of the boys and they kind of got their mm -hmm. version of an evil mm -hmm. Superman. Yes, what sir. do you think about this? Do you want to see Sentry in the <clears throat> MCU? And are you yeah. happy with possibly Ryan Reynolds, not Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Gosling fulfilling that role? Man, that's, that's, a, that's a loaded question, man. First off, <laughs> uh, yes, to answer one of your questions as far as seeing this character make its MCU debut, I would love it. I would love it, man, especially now that we're getting more into these more um, – powerful individuals and not you know we got a lot of grounded individuals in the mcu but now we're starting to really get into these like these these jokers ain't no joke man especially when we get adam warlock come next year the power scales will definitely be changing the mcu so i would love to see this character my only reservations two things um one a character of that capacity going against some super soldiers uh i don't i don't know if there's a good uh <laughs> level of balancing the power scales because i feel like this character based on your description because i'm not too familiar with the character it seems like it would be a pretty clean easy way to wipe the, right. the uh, thunderbolts out without you know a two hour runtime so i'm very concerned about and this is one of my issues with marvel is the the level the power scales are just all over the place for marvel that, that we see characters fighting you know hulk beating him so easily and 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 it's just like and we and i'll never forget again I love uh, No Way Home, but the fact that Peter was able to beat Doctor Strange in his own mirror verse to me is just crazy. So I hate when Marvel does that. So I would hate for a character to be so powerful to then have like these hand-to-hand -hand fights with Red Guardian or Yelena or Ghost or Bucky. It, it just wouldn't make sense to me. Even if someone brought up the Red Hulk. Sure, I mean, we can do that, but that's it's now we're getting too much into what's this film all about. So yes, I want the character. I don't want them in this film unless it's just like, alluding to this maybe further down the road um but and then the other reservation is I, i'm a ryan goslin fan uh, and i've seen him play kind of more villainous type of roles whether it's in only god forgives or of course drive uh he's a fantastic actor i don't think he's right for this role better yet <laughs> i think that the person that they alluded to in the article would be amazing in the role, which is Alexander Skarsgård. I would take that over Ryan Gosling, 10 out of 10. And this role in particular, not 
overall. Like I think they're both great actors. Uh, but I would take an Alexander Skarsgård in that role before I would take Ryan Gosling. I think Ryan Gosling would be more suited for uh, another character in the MCU that people have been rumored about, maybe a Ghost Rider in the future. But yeah, that that's my other reservation. Ryan Gosling, great, but give me Alexander Skarsgård. He is. He's fantastic. And uh, yeah, not Pennywise. That's his younger brother, uh, Bill Skarsgård. We're talking about Alexander Skarsgård. But yeah, I, I would w- rather see him in the role than Ryan. Right on, right on. Um, it doesn't matter to me who fulfills the role. Because um, you said that you couldn't see Ryan Gosling do it. I don't know, because I don't know crap about Century. I just, I mean, I've heard of him before. Mm-hmm. I didn't know he was that strong. I didn't know that he was described as an evil Superman. Um, but i'm leaning on this that it's not real that this is yeah. just a rumor mm-hmm. uh, i'm not gonna hold my breath or get my hopes up i'll even go as far as to say that i don't want this to happen like i do want to see century avail- uh, come eventually in the mcu but yeah. right now it doesn't excite me to see him fighting in the thunderbolts that just yeah. doesn't make sense and even if you were i mean like you said they would get washed but even if you did do that, and like you said, somebody did. I was going to bring this up myself. Somebody brought up uh, Red Hulk. Steven here. Thank you, yeah. Steven. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even, I don't want to see Red Hulk this early. I, I mean, again, I don't think I'm going to get what I want, but I've been saying I don't want to see any Red Hulk, any Blue Gray Hulk, any uh, the little, his son. Um, I don't want to see any of that until we get the proper Hulk, which I it just doesn't seem like we're going to get anytime soon. Yeah. So I don't know. This doesn't get me excited. I like Ryan Gosling. Mm-hmm. If he wants to pop up in the MCU, great. I like Alex Gander. I, mean, I don't, he's cool. I'm, I'm indifferent. I don't like, I don't like the guy. I don't hate the guy. He, he, he's cool. He's cool. I, don't got against him. I haven't. I haven't. Wow. I need to see that. I, I know you did a, I know you said it was off the chain. So yeah. it's pretty I, awesome. I got you. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I would love to see Alex Skarsgård or Ryan Gosling in the MCU. And I would like to see, um century but not necessarily in this mixed bag that we're getting here in this rumor report yeah. eventually you know yeah but you know just change it up a bit so i don't know i don't know but um guys you let me know what you think about this if you are excited for ryan gosling to possibly play a century it is a rumor but sometimes rumors do come true it was a rumor that you know, uh, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire would be in, in No Way Home and they popped up. So, you know, yeah. we who who knows? I mean, we didn't think Jamie Foxx would come back as Electro. And so, you know, the, the sky's the limit for all that good stuff. But anyway, guys, if you're wa- again, if you're watching this via live on the replay, there is a link down to this in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure.